from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer County Community College. This is HCTV News, a student-produced newscast covering HCCC and the community it serves. Good afternoon, I'm Melissa Kral. And I'm Sean Mafia. Welcome to HCTV News. We're here every Thursday afternoon this semester at 1 o'clock with this live 15-minute newscast. This newscast is a production of communication arts students enrolled in various media degree programs here at Herkimer County Community College. Thank you for joining us. By now, many of us have seen the images of the 12 abused dogs recently rescued by the New York State Police. The dogs were found at a home on, on Route 28 between Middleville and Herkimer. They're now located at the Herkimer Humane Society, and as its manager tells us, the dogs might be safe now, but it's just the beginning of a long road to recovery. They're in relatively poor condition. Um, they're in various stages of their sarcoptic mange, um, from loss of total hair to loss of some hair. Um, they are, uh, some of them are very malnourished. Um, and their nails are overgrown and ingrown into some of them are ingrown into their pads. So they were in pretty poor shape. In my opinion, it, it, it's, it's weeks and weeks and months and months of not being properly cared for. With it taking months for, to, for them to get to that state, how long do you think it will be for them to recover from this? State? Again, it could be months. It's, they have a long road in front of them. But with proper nutrition, proper medication, um, including uh, prescription baths, it's a special uh, shampoo to use, um, you know, hopefully they can come back. Um, I believe mange is very contagious. Right? This type of mange is, yes. So are you taking any special precautions? We do use uh, special precautions. We wear gloves. Um, we change clothes in between, and we try to have... Um, as little contact with our other animals as possible and actually when you go home you don't want to bring it into your house if you have your own pets too so you take the precautions at home also. Is this one of the biggest? Um, For that things? I've seen yes in this area yes in a long time. It's so weird you hear about this stuff like on animal cops or something. Now. Right it, or you hear about it in the bigger cities areas or bigger locations or you know but not hardly ever here. A sad story. If you would like to help out the Herkimer County Humane Society, they're now accepting donations at their location. The animal activist group Laney's Army will also be having a bottle and can drive at Tractor Supply in Herkimer this Sunday from noon to 3. If you suspect a case of animal abuse, please contact your local police station or Humane Society. On a much lighter note, the CNY Gaming and Entertainment Expo is kicking off tomorrow at the Herkimer County Fairgrounds. It'll be going on through Sunday. Aside from the obvious games and entertainment, there will be live bands, vendors, and even guest appearances. A few of the guests coming are wrestler Tito Sant Santana and reality TV star Johnny Fairplay. Sounds like fun. Civility Day will be following on Halloween this year. Some of the activities to look forward to are giveaways, a featured dance routine by the BLSU dance team, and live music. It'll be from 12 to 2 in the RMCC lobby. We choose civility here at Herkimer County Community College. Speaking of Halloween, there are several spooky activities to try out here in CNY. A new one this year is Haunted Paintball. I'm Rob Kraskowski, Check 6 Paintball, introducing our Haunted Zombie Walk all of October, all the way to November 2nd. Um, come in for $15, shoot all the zombies you want, and see if you can leave your brain intact. The zombies don't shoot back at you, but they, there's a continuous wave, they never stop. Uh, it's $15 if you want to shoot um, any zombies coming at you. It's $10 if you want to walk the trail. Nobody shoots at you. You walk out there, it's about a 20-minute walk. We have, we have guides and scripts, and you just go through and have fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little different than today. Well, right now it's still 
Sounds like a lot of fun, and that's going on in Rome. I actually had the chance to try it, and it was very scary, but the good part about it is the zombies don't shoot back, so mm -hmm. it's a lot easier when they're not right. shooting back. Right. I, you know, I wanted to take part in that, but I was just, you know, I was too busy. But it sounds like a lot of fun. Well, the Saturday would actually be great because they're having the Utica Zombie Walk at the Stanley. So oh, if you're dressed up right. like a zombie, why not go play paintball, uh, paintball afterwards? So. All right. There was more, there's more news straight ahead after this break here on HCTV News. I'm Sean Mafia. And I'm Melissa Kral. Stay with us. Lauren Quinn is up next with your complete weather forecast. Stick around. Coming up next, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas. Later, we'll hear your answers to our question of the week here on HCTV 99 News. Stay with us. Jump into the world of radio production and electronic media at Herkimer County Community College's 91.5 FM WVHC. When the semester kicks in, students take over the airwaves, turning their dreams and ideas into real live radio. Topping Herkimer County Community College news today with graduation soon approaching. Are you the next big voice? Find your home on the airwaves at Herkimer County Community College and WVHC. For more information, go to www.herkimer.edu. Herkimer County Community College is concerned with keeping our college and the world clean. Recycling is a big part of this process. Recycling is a collecting, processing, and reusing of materials that would otherwise be thrown away. The Green Club promotes recycling throughout the on-campus housing. They are also involved in the Adopt a Highway Foundation. Plus, if you join, you get to do fun things like planting trees throughout the campus. Join the Green Club today to help make your college a better place to live. The weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas, here on HCTV News. Welcome back to HCTV News here on HCTV. I'm Melissa Kral. And I'm Sean Mafia. And I'm Lauren Quinn for HCTV News Weather. Lauren, it has been so cold this week. I no, hate it. It's Please very tell me. Please tell me it's going back to summer. Unfortunately, <laughs> Melissa, it's going to remain mild this week. And on top of that, we are going to get a lot of precipitation. So make sure you bring your umbrellas just as a precaution. But let's look at our current conditions brought to us by weatherunderground.com. And currently in the Herkimer area, it is 66 degrees. And as you can see on the radar here, there is a lot of precipitation coming our way. So like I said before, make sure that you are prepared for the rain. And um, let's take a look at tonight's forecast. Tonight it is going to be overcast with uh, rain and it is going to have a low of 46. So it is going to be a little bit chilly tonight. Tomorrow it is also going to be overcast with a chance of rain in the morning and it's going to be partly cloudy outside with winds coming from the west at 10 to 15 miles per hour and a low of 39. So it also is going to be very, very chilly tomorrow. Saturday, it's also going to be overcast with a chance of rain in the afternoon with a high of 59 and a low of 37. So make sure you do bundle up. This weekend's really not looking too great. And um, Sunday, it is going to be partly cloudy with a chance of rain again in the afternoon with a high of 50 and winds coming from the west 
at 10 to 15 miles per hour with a low of 37. So unfortunately, this week just isn't looking too well. Let's take a look at our, our extended outlook for the rest of the week. Monday, it is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 43. Tuesday, it is going to be very rainy with a high of 57 and a low of 36. And Wednesday, it is going to be partly cloudy again with a high of 55 and a low of 32. So hopefully this upcoming week will be a little bit better for us. A low in the, lows in the 30s yes. this weekend? Yep, mm -hmm. so probably a lot of frost coming our way. Just want to make sure to bundle up a little bit and be, be prepared. Oh, Guess yeah. so. Not sure if I want to do the zombie walk anymore. I'll have to wear extra <laughs> layers of clothing. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Lauren, for that weather yes, update. Thanks, Lauren. When we return, Brady Lawrence is going to get you caught up on all the latest regarding the Herkimer General Sports Team. You're watching HCTV News from Herkimer County Community College. We'll be right back. Catch up with the Herkimer General sports teams. After the break, it's Sports Wrap, here on HCTV News. Are you out of shape? Would you like to start a healthier lifestyle? Then come check out our state-of-the-art fitness facility here on the Herkimer County Community College campus. The fitness center is equipped with cardiovascular equipment, dumbbells, and life fitness circuit training machines. Take a few laps around the indoor track or come up to the Kristen Pool, which is open for various community programs throughout the year. For more information about the Fitness Center, go to herkimer.edu or call 866-0300, extension 8215. Apheresis, a Greek word meaning to take away. What if apheresis meant you could have uninterrupted time to watch TV or your favorite movie while saving lives at the same time? The Red Cross uses apheresis machines to save the lives of cancer patients. By separating your platelets, the Red Cross is able to get the blood to the people who need it. Contact your local Red Cross for more information. Make an appointment. Donate. Reschedule. Someone you love may just depend on it. It's Sports Wrap, here on HCTV News. Welcome back to HCTV News. I'm Brady Lawrence, and it's time now for your Herkimer General Sports Wrap. The men's soccer team had another dominant showing on Tuesday night, beating Jefferson Community College by a score of 4-0. Goals were scored by Jermaine Winster, Brian Coit, James Wilson, and McIntyre Felton. The win was the General's fifth shutout, ninth shutout on the year, and fifth in a row, and improved the team's record to 11-1. Herkimer's final regular season game is Saturday at 1 p.m. at Wareham Stadium. The Herkimer women's soccer team finished their regular season strong the other night, snapping a four-game losing streak as they beat Jefferson Community College 5-1 in the last night at Wareham Stadium for the team. The Lady Generals had goals from Danielle Nikosha, uh, Jessica Williamson, Caitlin Lyon, and Emily Rexford, who had two on the night. With that win, Herkimer finished the season with a record of 8-5-1, uh, and, and regional playoffs begin on Saturday at noon at Wareham Stadium. In other Herkimer sports news, the Mountain Valley Conference Championship for Cross Country will be hosted by Herkimer County Community College this Saturday, October 19th, starting at 10 a.m. Also, the volleyball team will travel this Saturday to SUNY Adirondack to play Columbia Green, Hudson Valley, and Adirondack Community Colleges. Well, that's all for this edition of the Sports Wrap here on HCTV News. I'm Brady Lawrence. Back to you, Melissa and Sean. Thank you, Brady, and thank you for joining us today. That's HCTV News. Just a reminder, you can catch HCTV News this semester every Thursday afternoon at 1 o'clock live right here on HCTV channel 97-3 on Time Warner Cable. You can find out more about the communication arts degree programs at HCCC and view past new newscasts on our YouTube channel. Visit our website at www.herkimer.edu backslash media degrees. You can also find us on Facebook. For everyone here in the Communication Arts programs here at Herkimer County Community College, I'm Melissa Krall. I'm Sean Mafia. Thank you for watching. And by the way, you can catch a replay of this broadcast later today at 5.30 here on HCTV. Have a fantastic week, everyone. <laughs>